Uh, we find out how uh, Summer Strana's Hollyoaks character as uh, West End star Maria is about to become a reality as she takes over the lead in The Sound of Music. It's a complicated tale, Summer, isn't it? Yes, uh, yes, it very much is, Philip, yeah. Um, <laughs> we'll have to, I'll, I'll explain it all later. Good, excellent, thank goodness. <laughs> That's that. what we like to hear, good. <laughs> Also, yeah, good luck. Now, there's nothing new in soap actors going on to star in West End plays. Jill Halfpenny's done it. She was here earlier. So have Brookside actresses Jennifer Ellison and Claire Sweeney. But when Summer Strallen joined Hollyoaks, little did the rest of the cast know that she was harbouring a very big secret. She was about to take over from Connie Fisher as Maria in The Sound of Music, and her real-life big break was actually being turned into the soap storyline in Hollyoaks in front of our very eyes. Have a look at this. Oh, that's who he's here. Blimey. Do you see for certain... Look, this is not X Factor. What I thought I knew. I've got a bit of a spark. I mean, should we give her a try? Thanks so much. <laughs> it's really great of you. Good luck, darling. Silver stones in its way to say. I told you she wouldn't be. Oh, I'm sorry. That was just nerves. I've heard you sing a thousand times and you've been fantastic. Maybe you can sing just for me. What now? <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, why not if you want to? You can sing most anything. Doe a deer, a female deer, ray a drop of gold. Oh, thank you. Hey, don't go. Can I just have a quick word with you? I beg your pardon? <laughs> Very good. Oh. So the cat is finally out of the bag, just like her character in Hollyoaks. Summer Strallen is about to take over the coveted role of Maria in The Sound of Music, mm. and only Andrew Lloyd Webber could come up with a plot like this. I know. It's, it's genius. So uh, this is the culmination of five months' secrecy, yes. really. Yes. You, you had, you'd started with an audition last August. Last August, yes, the end of August. For The Sound of Music. For the alternate role. Uh, of Maria in the Sound of Music, so I would be doing what I thought would be, I'd be doing Monday and Wednesday matinees, yeah. uh, like Aoife Mulholland does now. Um, and uh, yes, I had two auditions, uh, one with Andrew at the beginning, so it was, it was a little bit odd anyway, because Andrew's never normally in, in auditions on the first round, so I thought, mm, this is a bit odd, but didn't really, didn't look much more into it. And, um, and then I, I went in again and saw David Ian the second time, and uh, my agent phoned me and said, um, I want to meet you in the Ivy for a drink. Because like, mm. okay. there's always something a bit dodgy when he says, come and meet me in the Ivy. So I said, OK, I'll do that. And he said, this is what's going to happen. You're going to Hollyoaks in uh, four weeks, I think it was at the time, uh, going up to Liverpool to be uh, a part in, in Hollyoaks and then take over from Connie Fisher in March. For real? So for a real. mixture of fantasy and yeah. real life? Yeah, I wasn't, he wasn't really sure about the storyline, nor was <laughs> nor were they, I, I don't think. I think it was sort of written as we went along. Um, but as you went into Hollyoaks, you were absolutely sworn to secrecy. There was no one allowed to know, not your family, not no your one. friends? No one at all. Um, I, I did tell my partner, uh, because he was on the phone, you know, as soon as I came out of the, the, the meeting, the very special meeting that no one else knew about apart from him um, and uh, uh, no I, I didn't tell my mother until Octo uh, November <gasps> my sister Scarlett um, asked me because she'd heard a rumor and that was in October and I thought oh, I can't I can't lie she's asking me you know straight out so so I did tell her but um, uh, my my aunt and my grandmother didn't know till Christmas so. well, well auntie of course is Bonnie Langford yes. your sister Scarlett is, has also played Mary Poppins she, has, yeah. she played truly scrumptious at which yeah. you then took over from her I mean, yes, she sort of wants to do more straight stuff now, yeah so. but this is a fantastic theatrical dynasty but just to, sorry in my own mind so did Andrew Lloyd Webber <laughs> had this idea that whoever he was going to cast as the new Maria would be in Hollyoaks had he already got that connected yes there was there was um, uh, a thing, you know, he, they had, there had been talks with Hollyoaks about it. Um, and I'd actually been for Hollyoaks the year before mm. um, for the Inner City programme, which is a late night programme, and uh, 
fortunately, I think now that I, I didn't get it because they wouldn't yes. have been able to put me in. in so now. eventually, the time comes when you have to when you've got to have to own up to everyone that you've been working with because you're commuting from your home in Surrey yeah. up to Liverpool, backwards yeah. and forwards. Mm. A commute I suspect you probably won't miss. No, I won't miss that. <laughs> but uh, but when you when you've made all your mates on Hollyoaks, yeah. what what how did you break it to them that, that well, in fact there was a big secret? a lot of them saw it last Friday. A lot of them saw it on Friday. When they it was transmitted? Me, I didn't know you were doing that. I said, yeah, I, I am actually. There were a few people, you know, quite a few people did know by the, by the time I left because they were like, you know, what's going on? And, and also, um, um, I, I was doing a little interview and some people sort of yeah. saw at the time. So, um, so they did. But, uh, but yeah, a few of them didn't know until last Friday when it was aired. But the marketing is so clever. So your character in Hollyoaks is also called Summer. Yes. So the people who watch... Hollyoaks are the young audience who will enjoy watching Sound of Music, so they'll want to come and see exactly, Summer. Exactly, exactly, which is why the concept is so fantastic, because it brings, yet again, another generation, another, you know, a different audience to musical theatre, which is just fantastic. So, so now you're uh, out of Hollyoaks, Hollyoaks, and when do you start Hollywoaks. Hollywoaks, <laughs> and when do you um, start rehearsals for Sound of Music? I started music? rehearsals on Monday. You started? Uh, yes, oh. I was um, do re mi yesterday with um, one of the, the groups of the children, which was lovely, and uh, I'm being biked over there after this to... Um, Where to, are you to rehearsing? Do... On stage? Uh, we've been rehearsing some, some bits on stage and other oh. bits in studios. So have you met Connie yet? I haven't met Connie, and uh, she very, very sweetly asked me to come to her last night. Oh. Um, so um, I'll probably go... So when's your opening night? My opening night is on the 26th of February, uh, and then I have, a, I have a press night on the 3rd of March. Mm. Wow. And how are you so, feeling? Excited, very excited. I mean, I've, I've, uh, you know, been doing musicals a long time, and um, it, now, because I've known for five months, mm. I, I, it's kind of sunk in for me. Mm. It's more exciting for everyone else now, yes. you know. Um, so say, oh, you're so, so you must be so pleased. I'm like, well, yeah, I was pleased five months ago, and that. Yes, you know, well, it's, a, it's a, a fantastic it. story, and, it is and a good, good story. luck on your opening night. Yeah. And enjoy you, the run, and thanks for coming in. Thank you, thank you. Lovely. Wonderful story. Still to come today, West End boy band Teatro. We've also got Dr.